Hi. You you look sensational, may I say? You look sensational, man, let me tell you. And I thought you were a huge Twilight fan, by the way. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I am. I, 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 mean, I, I am one of, I'm a Twi hard. I thought so. <laughs> I brought you a Bella doll. It's, it's, it's back in the do you get uh, Do you get a lot of attention from the Twi Hearts? I feel there may be some in the audience this evening. <laughs> I'm, I'm more a Gryffindor Twi Hard mash. <laughs> oh. cool. I'm an old man. I don't watch these movies. I watch, like, Cannonball Run and stuff. Right, right, right. What's ev everyone loves Twilight. What's wrong yes, with they <laughs> do. Yes, they do. Uh, I, I know they do. And, but I am beloved in America. <laughs> That's what people in Finland think. Have you ever been to Finland? No, I haven't. You should go. <laughs> I, and then when you, when you come back and tell us what it's like, I've never been either. Nice. Have you ever been to Scotland? Actually, no. No, my last name is Stuart, too. I know, so I was going to say, there's a lot of... Yeah. I've met a lot of girls uh. called Stuart in Scotland. <laughs> yeah. So, uh... <laughs> so, a, a couple of times on the show, I, you know, I was... Anyway... So, this movie looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> the dancing? Mm. With the dancing? I didn't know you could dance. Like that? Yeah, no, me neither. That was, like, the most terrifying experience of my life. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, it was fun at the end, but obviously. Yeah, no, it's great. But it, like, if you, you so you've never met a tiger then? No. Because no. that that would be the most terrifying experience of your life. I would not like. That. Like, yeah. if you met, <laughs> if you met, like, I I've never I've seen a tiger at the zoo and stuff, but yeah. you know, it's not the same. That's not scary. No, would you do an animal movie? They say never do movies with animals. Um, yeah, I guess I don't know if I. I'm not talking that might werewolf. Be a stretch I'm... for me. I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I could play an animal. No, 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 you, you're not the animal. No, you're not the animal. No, you oh. play, like, like... Right. No, 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 I, I get it. I right, get right, it. so, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, if they made another, if they made another, uh, a sequel to We Bought a Zoo, <laughs> let's hope they do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will do that. Yeah. I will do that, for sure. So, uh, this, this movie, uh, is, uh, from the Jack Kerouac book, isn't it? Yes, it is. That, that book, I, I read that book. I don't remember it, uh, the dancing at all. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's just, yeah, it's this one little line. And then they had a really good time dancing? <laughs> Basically, yeah, it's like, we had nothing to work off other than they, they fall into a love dance that, like, nobody can stop looking at. It's like, it's... what is that? I don't know what, I don't know what that is. It looked like, that, that looked like more a kind of sexy love dance than just a... <laughs> like, I think of a love dance as kind of... Oh, really? Well, I guess, you know, that says a lot about you. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm that guy. Yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, please, that's not news. <laughs> so, uh, did you rehearse it? Did you improvise it? How did you go about doing something like that? That's mm. a very involved thing. Yeah, um... It's like sex with your clothes on. <laughs> wow really affected you, this one. It, I think... I, ju I just thought it was very vibrant uh, performance. Thanks, man. Um, I think... Uh, yeah, we, we rehearsed a lot. It was like... The whole thing about this movie, though, is how do you intend to be spontaneous? We didn't want to... We didn't want to really nail anything down, but at the same time, we had to practice and make sure that we weren't going to look absolutely ridiculous. No, I think it looks good. Are you a fan of Kerouac? Do you like the, 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 the kind of beatnik, the beatnik generation mm. writers, I guess? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was, I mean, it was, it was um, my first favorite book. I read it as a freshman in high school. Really? I, I didn't really get... Uh, the, we didn't get American writers in high school where mm. I grew up. Like, it was all kind of Dickens and stuff. Right. Yeah, right. yeah that makes sense. Yeah. Dickens right. never at once travelled... Well, he might have travelled across America, but, uh, right. but not as excitingly as Jack Kerouac, right. I don't think. Right. What about uh, Hunter S. Thompson? Do you like him? Um, dude, you know what? I've actually never even read... No. I'm Neither sorry. have most people, but here's the thing. <laughs> Particularly people who talk about Hunter S. Thompson, but I, I'm kind of, I was quite drawn to Hunter S. Thompson because of the excessive drug use, mm. which I uh, was kind of fascinated by people that would be that stupid. You know, right, 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 right. I took a lot of drugs when I was younger. I'm really sorry oh, yeah. about being stupid about the movies. There, I said it, all right? I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, no, I'm sorry. Look, I, you know, you're a big movie star. I think it's very gracious <laughs> that you came here, and I, I, feel, I feel just awful. I'm, I'm sorry, you feel so, you know... This is what I do, you yeah. see, I make you feel bad about what I've done. Nice. <clears throat> um, I, think, I think you can, um, I think you can count yourself in a, in a hefty group of people that... No, well, you mustn't listen to them, though. Huh. Lo lots of people are mean about things. Dude, and I, I, us and them. I, it's like love or hate is a, you know, I, I'm into that. I, I think, like, 
Confrontation? Yeah. yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, like you know, to be a part of a group like that, not everyone, you know, not everyone's gonna love one thing. It's, you know, I it's hear you. I was, uh, I was in punk rock bands when I was, uh, I guess, 15, 16. <laughs> Everybody hated us. It wasn't cool. Mm. People were like, "You punk rockers, you don't know anything. Get off our lawns." Uh, um, right. <laughs> yeah, but. That's so cool, though. You're, well, it's cool now. It wasn't cool then, though. Mm. I mean, it's cool with the hipster retro. Right. I'm <laughs> telling you, I, it was not. It wasn't that cool then. It was right. kind of outcast. The, what will happen is that over time, as you know, teenagers become middle-aged and they become, you know, very affluent. Mm -hmm. They start buying crap they couldn't afford them in their teenagers, and then it becomes accepted by the Borg, mm. and life continues. Mm. <laughs> cool. I'm a cynical man. <laughs> so, have you ever taken a road trip across America? Uh, yeah, I didn't get all the way, but I did attempt a road trip right before I shot the movie. I had like four days, and so I got as far as Ohio and had to turn around. You might, as, you could have kept going and then just taken a plane back. That's true. I guess you know, logistically speaking. Let me tell you about the details of my life that made that impossible. But no, that would be boring. No, I <laughs> bet you wouldn't. <laughs> well, um, well, this is, we're out of time actually, which is sad. But uh, I can offer you some coconuts. Oh, cool! Do you like coconuts? I don't mind coconuts. I'm sensing a kind of ambivalence about coconuts. <laughs> coconuts are one of these things. It's us and them. You love it or you, you hate it. That's right. Um. I I quite enjoy coconut. I like yeah. coconut. Although I just found out, it was kind of a shock to me, because I've been smashing coconuts and drinking coconut water every day for a week or so now on the oh. show. It's my new thing. Oh. Um, yeah, it's not going down well. People have said, oh, it's like Gallagher, but not funny. And I'm like... <laughs> I, like I didn't know Gallagher was funny. But the, uh, the, but the thing is, coconut milk, it's a laxative. Oh, fun. I didn't know. I know now. Yeah. Uh, nice. So, <clears throat> what I would say to you is, why don't we, uh, why don't I offer you a coconut, uh, but we won't smash it and drink the milk, okay. so that you can later on enjoy the milk in your own time. <laughs> and we'll just have the coconut and maybe an awkward pause. Fancy an awkward pause? I love an awkward well, pause. Well, awkward pause, there you are. You want to start? Oh, right, we're in. <laughs> Can I just stop for a second? I, it's been a while since I've been in an awkward pause with, with a, a woman called Stuart, but I feel like it's coming back to me. <laughs> no, it's great! <laughs> Pretty sure how this is... how I got married the first time. <laughs> Sure, everybody, where were I? <laughs> Melissa Benoist, everybody, Melissa Benoist. Thanks. Wow, you look sensational. I love Thank it. Red, you. black, color blocking. Awesome. Leopard. Can I see your shoes? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> is that a tattoo of a bicycle on your foot? It is. That's a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> May one ask what the significance of it is? I mean, um, I got it. I had... This is kind of embarrassing. Oh, well, then I really have to know. <laughs> I had never really learned how to ride a bicycle until I was like 18 years old. That's not embarrassing. And That's I, all right. You well, were busy doing other things. <laughs> True. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So you didn't, and then you did. Right. And then I moved to New York City, and that's where I learned how to ride a bike, and it was like liberating. And <laughs> where did awesome. you Where did you grow up? Colorado. And you didn't have a bike. Well, it's high up. Was it that with the thing? The kind of oh, I can't ride a bike. Too high. <laughs> Sort of, yeah, actually. It was always just like really embarrassing Can you ski? Yes. Well, there you are then, same thing. Do you have any more tattoos of other things I do, that yeah. you've written in? I have a wolf. A, written you've in. written a wolf? <laughs> of course, yeah. I mean, when you're from Colorado, it's like a prerequisite. Wow. Do you, how, how, what age were you when you learned to ride a wolf? <laughs> 
at birth. Yeah, that's like really Mowgli. impressive. Do you have two tattoos? I have three. I have one more on the back of my neck. But... Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have some too, right? I got five. Five? Yeah. You just got a new But I get more body than you to fill up. <laughs> <laughs> I like it more vast expanses of flesh that have to be <laughs> in some way decorated. Was that very hurty? Did that really sting when you it got that? It hurt really bad. Yeah. And the one on the back of my neck hurt even more. Really? Back yeah. of the neck hurts? I'm going to get one there then. You should. Yeah. It's always like a really vulnerable position they put you in. Like, when yeah. you're in that much pain, you're like, yeah, and then you have they... to make a really stupid face, but you always do. And... Well, no, it's all, I think it's all right for you because you're an attractive young woman. So I. Oh. Well, no, I think that's okay. I think in tattoo parlors, if you go, oh, that's sore, and you're an attractive woman, young woman, nobody really cares. If you're me and you go, <laughs> oh, that's sore, they're like, ah. <laughs> so you moved to New York, you learned to ride a bike, and got into show business. Yep. Wow. That, in that order. And now Glee, that's the. I, I never missed that show. Really? I could tell. I mean, you were like. I'm, I'm telling you. See, see when uh, when Corky got sick. Corky. Corky's my favorite character. Yeah, when Corky got sick, I was like, no way. And then, and then you know, and then all the guys came, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> So, you let, do you still have a bicycle? I do, yeah. Do you still ride it around? I mean, not in LA. It's in New York, sadly. No. Oh. What about your wolf? That, I take him everywhere. Yeah, do you have any pets? I do, yeah. What'd you have? I have a dog. She's really? named after Chris Farley. She's called Chris Farley? Well, Farley is her name, but. Oh, Chris Farley was lovely, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> So you moved to New York, learned to ride a bike, and then what? You go into like Broadway? Hey, hey, That's hey, hey, John was here. He's a Broadway producer now. I heard, yeah. You could be on Broadway. So exciting. Yeah. You could do a one woman show about the uh, ex governor of Texas. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Add a song Perfect. or two, it'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> What kind of thing did you want to get into when you went to Broadway? Is it kind of like musicals, obviously, right? I grew right? up doing musical theater. Really? Like, in like, yeah, musical, musical theater. What do you mean, musical, musical theater? I think what I did it, the like, Sound of Music, like, four times. You and Julie Andrews is a friend of mine. Really? Yeah, yeah, we get tattoos together. Great. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> and she's like, oh, bring it on, bring it on! <laughs> and she you know, and drinks whiskey while they're doing it. <laughs> Doesn't that thin your blood? Doesn't that make you bleed more? She doesn't care. She's Julie Andrews, bitch. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. No, I do know her. She comes on the show quite often. She's mm -hmm. a lovely woman, very elegant and classy, and mm -hmm. just as you would... Have you ever met her? No. Oh, she's lovely. I would love to. Yeah, yeah, me too. I mean, yeah, she's here all the time. <laughs> well, we're out of time, so... Uh... <laughs> So you're living in L.A., though? Yeah. You Just like recently, it? since... Oh, really? Since I got Glee, yeah. Oh, right. How, how are you... Is it okay? I like it, yeah. Really? I, I don't know. Hate, I, I mean, like, if, you, driving... if you were my daughter or something and you were moving to L.A., I'd be very concerned. Well, how, how, well because why? you seem very, you know, fresh and young and innocent. This is a terrible place. <laughs> oh, no. There's are awful, creepy people moving around. <laughs> there are lots of those in New York, too. Yeah, they are. There are like that in New York. But, uh, you know, but somehow they're less annoying. I, <laughs> Also, in New York, people have other jobs. Like, you know, there are people who have, like, lawyers and plumbers and electricians. You, a certain area of L.A., everyone's a it's screenwriter. Just, right. Everyone is a screenwriter. Yep. All these people... Ooh, la, la. Screenwriters. Everyone. Oh, yeah. Screenwriters. <laughs> that horse, two screenwriters right now. Oh, man. <laughs> I'd like to read those scripts. Yeah, oh, well, they're pretty good. <laughs> Actually, the, the back end's got something going. It's a little dark, but, uh... <laughs> Look, we're out of time. So, uh, what do you fancy? Frisbees at the horse or awkward pause? Do you want to do an awkward pause? Sure. You're an actress, right? Yeah. Right, you know the awkward pause? Yeah. Right, we, we do an awkward pause. Oh, you do it already? <laughs> wow. You're good. <laughs> all right, I'm going to throw an element into the awkward pause. All right, all I'm going right. to see if you can handle it. Okay. All right. We're, 
to me. <laughs> that was really awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Sensational! Look at you. You look fantastic. I'm really pleased to see you. Thank you. No, I mean, just, just very, very happy about the whole thing. I kind of match your tie. Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, we'd have to put them closer together to make sure. Holy crackers. All right, all right, all right. Congratulations on The Walking Dead show. It's the biggest show in the history of television. Thank you. Thank you. Big deal, right? Yeah. People are... Now, people are crazy for this show. You got a lot of people who are very obsessed with a little, maybe a little too obsessed with the show. They're going to be stalking you for a long time. Like me. <laughs> I'm going to be doing it too. Okay. You get a lot of that? You get a lot of attention? Um, I do. I mean, I, the fans are very passionate and they don't really know the difference between the actors and the characters. So, like right now, a lot of people are upset with Andrea because she hooked up with the sociopathic villain of the piece. So, if I go to Coffee Bean or the gas station or. You know, Hugo's Tacos, people stop me and say, you need to get away from him. And it's like, okay, note well, to you know, self. It's kind of like a cross between the zombie apocalypse show and people's stories, really. You know, their stories. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is what it is, but zombie, I mean, zombie. Can I ask you a question about zombies? I've got a thing going with zombies. Do they poop? <laughs> What do you think? Well, you know, they eat, right? They eat brains. So, I mean, it's got to go, it's got to go somewhere. It's got to go somewhere. Right, or else they'd get fat zombies. You know, nobody wants a fat zombie. I, I don't think they exist, fat zombies. I don't think zombies exist, if you want to go in that direction. <laughs> It was like, like thin zombies exist, but fat zombies... No, I mean, like, uh, but let's, let's stay with the premise that zombies do exist. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't they get fat if they didn't poop? So therefore, they must poop, logically. I think they do. Right. Yeah. So if they poop, you can track them. That's, that's a good note. I'll yeah, keep that in you, mind. You want to tell those geniuses right in that zombie apocalypse show? <laughs> I, can I be the tracker? I'd like to be the grizzled tracker. I go, there are zombies around here. I can follow smell the poop. them. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, follow this. Uh, there it is. It was here a while ago. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm Canadian. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a joke. It's a joke. I've got people in Canada. No, but you performed in Canada at Massey Hall. Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah. A number of times. Have you ever been to Massey Hall? Um, I think I have. It's a nice place. Yeah. Are you from Toronto? Yes. Oh, I like... Can you say Toronto like people from Toronto say Toronto? Toronto. Toronto. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. They just roll it right out. Roll it right out. Toronto. <laughs> Are you excited to be in America with all our amenities? Um, <laughs> I'm half American. Are you? Yeah, my father was a New Yorker. Ah, right. So I, I, I like to embrace the, the best of both worlds. Okay. Yes. Where do you live? Atlanta. Well, that's American. Yeah, that's American. Yeah. Because that, that's, that's where I, I do my zombie show. Right. Oh, right, right, of course. Atlanta's very nice. The roads, though, everything's called peach tree. How did you get around? It's very But well, you know what's really weird about that? Yeah. I never see peach trees. Really? Yeah. No, it never it's actually It's like they chop them all down. Yeah, they chop them all down to make signs that say peach tree. That's what happened. <laughs> I know, it's like a conspiracy. I think there used to be a lot of peach trees there, and then something probably really bad happened that I'm going to get a lot of letters about it. That's, that's my guess. I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. How's the southern accent? Do you like that? I don't have to do a southern accent, because my character... No, 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 I mean, but you live in Atlanta. Oh, you're going to hear it. Um, yeah. Well, you know what? I love the southern people because... They're kind, they have manners, they call me Miss Lori. Men open doors. Oh, yeah. It's like a Men whole... Men open doors for you in the north, too, my dear. <laughs> yeah. You cross the Mason-Dixon line, doors will still be flying open for you for a long time. All You'll right, be all right. all right. All the way to Canada, I think, come on in, eh? They'd be fine. <laughs> Even Scotland, you ever been there? Yes, I have. Really? Yes, I went to, um, I went to the Highlands. And, uh, and I'm really kind of bummed because I didn't buy a Nessie. Oh, uh, well, like a... Uh, yeah, like a little thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got a tattoo. Oh, cool. Yeah, but it's not of Nessie, but I just wanted to show it to you. <laughs> 
But it's not, I, I mean, it's not a real monster. It's kind of like my, uh, my horse. Not a real horse, you know, it's just it's a joke. That's true. Well, what I love about Nessie is that every time you go into a little gift shop, um, that's the Loch Ness monster. He, um, oh, they a, know. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he has a little smile. Yeah, it's a she. It's a she. Yeah, yeah, she. it's uh, Nessie. Nessie. Yeah. Did you go to Loch Ness? Uh, no, I just kind of, like, went around Well, here. see, that's your problem. You go to Loch Ness, you can't move for Nessies. They, they got a ton of them there. Here, you want a Nessie? Yeah. Can I open that door for you, young lady? That's all of that. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Next time. Did you, did you go around Europe? Um, well, I've, I've, I've lived in Europe at different times. That was just a specific, um... Really? Which part of Europe did you live in? Oh, England, Malta, France. Malta? Yes. Wow, how fascinating. Yeah. I've never been to Malta. What's it like? It's amazing. It's, yeah. uh... It kind of feels like Mars. It's... <laughs> no, no, just the, no, the, Another place that I've still yet to go to. <laughs> No, just the landscape is very, very different. I was there when I was a kid, so All I, right. my parents are in the business, so I went to different, um, you know, schools. Oh, your parents are actors? Uh, directors, actors, yeah. Oh, nice. You traveled around film sets and stuff? Yes. Oh, they're terribly glamorous. Mm, not so much. <laughs> well, that's the thing, though. There'll be no glamour in it for you. It'll be completely demystified, right? It's kind of a job. Yeah, it's kind of like just how I grew up. So didn't, you, didn't you rebel against it? And yes, say, I did. Oh, really? I did, because when I was born, they were like, oh, we wanted to be an actress. And I was like, oh, you know, I wanted to do my own well, thing. Well, a lot of babies are like, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there was more than that. Right, right. And uh, I, I wanted to be an investment banker, and they just, you know, they didn't even want to speak to me for years. Did you study investment banking? Yes, I went to McGill. I studied economics, and then uh, I wow. woke up and was like, okay, I want to be an actress. Because I'd give you all my money. I'd be like, invest that wherever you? you want. You still can. Yeah, no, I, there's not much to give, but you can have it if you want it. I got, actually, I got some Canadian money right here in some bags. Well, it's actually worth the same as uh, American money now. Parity? Yeah. That's not good. Mm. It's not good for the Canadian economy. You know that. Oh, no, I know. I know. Well, just <laughs> But you know, it's really funny. Um, supposedly, I've got Scottish descent. Really? Yes. Um, Where? I don't know, so, somewhere in my, my, my mother's side of the family. And I, um, I got a role playing a Scottish girl, and I had no time to prepare. And it was a Canadian holiday. So I went to a Scottish bar. And I literally uh, dictaphoned all of the drunk <laughs> sc Scottish people. <laughs> yeah. And, and no one was dictaphoning me when I was drinking. <laughs> Well, they were, but he didn't look like you. He was like, no. but um, but it was hilarious because at first it was really helpful, and then they were like, as the, the the and I was desperate. I was like, please, like I need to sound authentic, you know. So they were like, oh yeah, and then they'd be like, I wouldn't say that line. Oh, they were looking at your script. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't I... show them their, their <laughs> script. I needed it. I was desperate. Oh, I see. With the actual words. Well, yeah, you could have called me. I'd have helped you. I didn't know you then. Well, and also, you know what? I apparently my accent is gone. It's not. <laughs> I get told that when I go to Scotland, they say, you don't sound Scottish anymore. You sound like an American. I think it's just because... Yeah, the, I think R's, it's just of... the R's haven't changed at all, correct? Right. Yeah. Well, my R's is exactly the same as it was when I first came. Out of time. What do you fancy? Uh, awkward pause, mouth organ, uh, you could play the trombone, you could... I'd like to play a musical instrument. <laughs> Well, how about the mouth organ? Okay, sounds it's good. It's pretty simple. Just open the box and blow. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's great. Best I ever heard. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Just because you shake your head from side to side. <laughs> Try to bring some flavor to it. You're, you're bringing plenty of flavor to everything, but it... Okay, uh, what do you want to play? Something southern? that. Easy. No, you, that's the only thing I can do. Best I ever had. <laughs> Be right back, Welcome. You look sensational, may I say. Thank you Just so much. fantastic. And congratulations on this film. It's really wonderful. 
I'm really happy you like it. Yes, because I am the barometer for America's taste. If I don't like it, no one goes to see it. <laughs> Wonderful. D uh, were you a fan of the James Bond franchise before? I was. Really? Yeah. I swear. Uh, I swear. <laughs> I, but I, you're French. I'm French, but I, I was a fan. Okay. Because in France we get to see a lot of of. Uh, you James have cinema? Bond. No. <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> but I've just yeah. I try to pretend that I, I knew James Bond before. No, of course you knew James Bond before. The the, uh, the Sean Connery was uh, very popular in France. He was. He was. It was the it was the first actually. So people really like him. Yeah. No. Everyone always says he was the best, but and he he is. And don't get mad. But I think this Daniel Craig is getting up there. He's getting really good. He's so good. But Sean Connery is from your country. Yes, so, he is. And so I've met Sean Connery. Point, actually. He's a god to us in Scotland. We... <laughs> no, he is. And uh, have you ever met him? No, unfortunately not. He's like, you know, he's. I think he's like 120. And, <laughs> and like the right age. You yeah. Know? And when women meet him, they're like, oh. <laughs> he's like, very nice to meet you, Berenice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she does that voice, which has the same effect on women as a French accent. Taj on a mask. Stop it! <laughs> I will not be able to control myself. Well, Please that's do it again. I'll talk like this, y'all. I can have a nine to fit, yes. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> You're so sexy. You shouldn't have started that, you know, that Craig. <laughs> It's a very dangerous game. You don't know French people. We are terrible with accents and Scottish accents specifically. We. Oui. <laughs> so, uh, do you still live in France or you do you live here? No, I'm, I'm going to move here. You're moving to LA? I'm, I am moving to LA. I love the weather here. Yes, it, they have some. Yep. Uh, <laughs> what are you going to do when you're here? You're going to you go surfing? Are you going to become a very LA person? Oh, well, I don't know how to swim. Actually, to to swim. To swim. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to swim. You you don't you don't want to you don't want to swim on the beaches around here anyway. No. It's not so much swimming. It's more kind of going through the motions, if you know what I mean. <laughs> swimming among the sharks. Well, there are sharks. Yes. Have you ever? I've swum with sharks. Have you ever Did swum you? with it? Yes, yes. How was it? Um, fr no, I wasn't frightened at all. <laughs> I believe you. I was like, yeah, sure, okay, shark. <laughs> ah, stop no! it! Stop it! You're gonna excite me too much. No, no, I, 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 I I'm very pleased that that works. <laughs> it's so great. you're you're moving you're moving to Los Angeles. Your English is very good as well. Thank you so much. Yours is good too. So, well, you know. I, I, get, I, I don't get everything, but no, but... I don't. I think that when I talk, not a lot of Americans understand what I'm saying, really? but they're very friendly people. Yeah. They're very welcoming, so they're like, gosh, he's just. Cute. <laughs> Just give him a show and that'll be nice. <laughs> yes. Have you ever been to New Zealand? Oh, you know, this is one of my dreams, going to Australia and New Zealand. I had a dream once I was the Prime Minister of uh, Australia. Really? <laughs> Have you ever had that dream? <laughs> now that you're asking and that, now that you know each other very closely. Yes, of course. I can. Yeah, I can tell you, this one, this was one of my biggest dreams. To be the Prime Minister of Australia? With you. I, yeah. I, I, I don't... <laughs> I think they'd let you do it. I think they'd be like, yeah, all right, she can do it, yeah. <laughs> Have, you've never been down there? No. Um, it's lovely. It's very, very nice. And I, I love the, the Aka song. You know the the um, like the warrior the rugby the rugby crew. Oh yes you know, yes yes ringing? when they play the rugby and the yeah, yes it's yeah. Very powerful. Oh yeah. yeah yeah it's very good all that. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. Well you like the American football then? Have you watched that? No not oh, yet. It's I fantastic. have to. Oh a lot of uh, big men crashing into each other. Oh, You'll be very so pleased. Sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What else? We'll have to get your car. You'll have to drive in LA. And I don't drive. No, Parisians don't drive. We don't. No, of course You're not. You're so right. Well, I lived in Paris for a while. Yeah? How was it? It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I don't believe you. No, it's true. I lived in the six around this month for a little while. Six? Yeah, the six uh, à côté Jardin de Luxembourg. Oui. Yeah. And he speaks French. Yeah, uh, You're so but, cute. Yes, I am. <laughs> Well, we went, we took the show to Paris.
Yeah. This show, we, we went to Paris. We went to, what, what part of Paris are you from? Oh, uh, from the 11th district. Oh, that's terribly nice. That's... <laughs> Is it? I don't know. Is that up near the Marais? Yeah. Oh, right, I know. That's up where the, uh, the... Uh, yeah. yeah. This is where, yeah. Exactly. Wow, you're from there? Uh, yeah. You're quite tough, then. Yeah, I know, I know. I have plenty of qualities. You know, you don't you know have plenty any, of of, any of them. <laughs> I, I think I know some of them. <laughs> but I'm being a gentleman. <laughs> Please say them. I want to hear you say my qualities in front of everybody. <laughs> now you're shaming me, Berenice. You're shaming me. Don't be ashamed. No, don't be shamed. Don't be ashamed. Feel at home. Please. Say what you, your impressions are of me. Don't be shy. I think you're a charming and talented young woman. I think that your film is uh, very, very exciting. And um, I like your, uh, what's going on here. Oh. <laughs> We're out of time. Do you want, uh, would you like some fruit? Yes, please. Uh, okay. Trying to impress me, that doesn't work at all. <laughs> I've seen that before. Even in Paris, we do have fruits, you know? Yes, I know. I've, I'm telling you, I did live in Paris. I lived near a place where fruit was available. <laughs> uh, would you uh, care for a pomegranate? Please. Here it is, then. I'll just take the pomegranate side. That's how you pronounce it. You should do that for your English. Put labels on you everything. Should, yes, you should leave it, actually. All right, so I'll, I'll leave it on. So is it pomegranate in French? Le pomegranate? Pom <laughs> pomegranate. I don't pomegranate? Even know. That's a shame, but I, I don't even know how to say that in, in French. Uh, well, I, uh, that's okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, he, you can have this too. I don't know what it is. A pomelo. What? A pomelo. You've solved the mystery of the giant green fruit. <laughs> <laughs> then it's you. Thank you. <laughs> We're right back, everybody. Like snowflakes. That's Welcome, Alexis. You look nice. I like your you. green shoes. Thank you. It was that's large nice. debates this afternoon. No, that's like with who? Who were you the, debating? The people that give the clothes, you know. Really? <laughs> like, don't wear the green shoes, honey. It's they not wanted right. The pink. They wanted the pink, and I was no, like, No, no, green is better. I was very alarmed to hear just the, during the commercial break before you come out that she said Alexis is here. She has a snake with her. Yeah. I, I don't. It's not here, right? Well, yes, it's in the building. Right, but no, it, he, no, he, you know, he, you know where it is. It's not on my body. Okay, at right, moment. fine. No, no, he's, what, what kind he's of a... too big. In the past, I used to carry him around with me everywhere I'd go, but he's really he's pretty large now. What, what kind of a snake is he? He's a albino Colombian red tail boa, quarter snake now. So he's very, very bright and special. But I can show you. Uh, I brought him because I figured your Freudian snake needed to be one upped. <laughs> Well, if it's really a Freudian snake, perhaps you wouldn't make any friends one up in me then, would you? Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you can tell for yourself. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. Look, at, can you see that? Can you, can you guys get that? Look at that. Yeah. Look at the size of my head yeah. next to it. <laughs> Wait, what is in there? Uh, water. Okay. <laughs> it's all right. It is. It's water. What's your snake's name? Uh, his name is Kadia. Kadia. Well, that short for yeah, well, no, that's the full name. His short name is Kiki, but then I just learned what Kiki means backstage. <laughs> what does it mean? Do you want me to tell you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those white parties I don't talk about. It's Lindsay Lohan's favorite activity. Really? Yeah. That's a thing? Yeah, they call it Kiki. Now I gotta rename my snake. I mean, is that? Can we say that then? We're not. We're not saying what it is. 
<laughs> it's a it's a Scottish word actually. It means uh, it means snake. Uh, so there you are. Do you have any other pets or just a snake? Yeah. Maybe you buy a rat from time to uh, time, right? Yeah, but always, they're very temporary pets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does it have to eat live? Uh, well, mine, mine loves live because uh, mommy likes to keep his instincts intact, you know? What, are you uh, saving him up for some kind of attack? <laughs> Is he an Dude, attack snake? When the world ends... Right. If my snake has to go live on its own, do you think he's going to be able to, to <laughs> hunt and for himself if he's been eating dead, frozen mouse that have been thrown at him easily what does his he whole care life? if the world's ended, no, though? No, no, it's... <laughs> to have a chance it's well, all like, a I fighting think it's, chance i think it's good i think it's a good idea did you have snakes growing up as a kid did you raised yeah, 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 yeah. in the company of them um well yes my whole family i was actually born in a nest of snakes <laughs> it's like why do i have more limbs than you guys this makes no sense we can't hear you we're snakes <laughs> <laughs> and we're deaf when we're young did you know that i made it up but it might be true <laughs> Well, their their hearing's pretty their hearing's pretty terrible, but is it anyway. really? Well, well no. When, when I was younger, I was always obsessed with reptiles. I grew up like a little boy, three brothers, no sisters. Where did I, you grow up? Uh, this little sandbar in North Carolina called oh. the Outer Banks. You grew up in a bar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, more or less. You know? Yeah, yeah. Are you a heavy drinker? Not anymore, sir. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Actually, since the summer ended, I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Well, if you're doing the TV show, you got to be working all the time. Yeah, you can't be well, all messed this up. This summer was pretty freaking drinky, I must say. Really? Yeah. What, what happened to the freaky drinking summer? I was in Europe. Oh, girl, <laughs> don't even tell me. Dude, I have to ask you. I have to mm. ask you, is it Craig or Craig? Well, in, in, in Scotland, it's Craig. Craig. But, right, but Craig. in America, it's... <laughs> 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 hey, <laughs> 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 It's well, fine. Oh, okay. Well, I met a, I met a Craig in uh, England, and I called him Craig. Right, like well, that. that seems reasonable. Well, right, because I didn't want them to think that I was trying to adapt to the, to the twang there. And so Were they... you trying to adapt no, to the No, 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 of course what not. What are you doing in England, just partying? No, no, I was working on a film sure. called uh, The Anomaly, and it was my first time there. And you, were you in London? So, yeah, I was in it's London. a lot of fun that time, uh -huh. isn't it? I was, in, uh, I was in Soho, right on Warwick. I so know exactly where that is. up good. Yeah, I've... <laughs> I'm laying down in the sidewalk so that particular part of time. I was almost there a few times. Oh almost boy, there. they can drink there. They still had the chairs out though, so I was. I was they have chairs in out the chair. There? Well, yeah. If there were the chairs out then, I'd never have gone to rehab. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I'll just sit here. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> It was my first real time in Europe, and right. Did you I, go around the continent. A little, a little bit. Um, after that, I went to Italy, and then back to London, and then stayed with some friends, and then went to Stockholm, and then back to London. And oh, then I like all of those places. Oh my God! Did you go to the Cafe Opera in Stockholm? No, I was only oh. there for like 22 hours. Oh no, you got to go there. That's... I was supposed to be there five days, but then I accepted this other job that went right. to Canada. And Canada. I, so I. That's not in Europe. Mm -mm. <laughs> 17 hours later, I was yeah. on 4th on, uh, of July. <laughs> really? So you yeah. just had to come straight I saw by? one firework as we were lifting off. I was like, ah! In the, dark, in the distance, you know. Yeah, they don't really celebrate uh, the 4th of July in London. <laughs> that was actually in New York. Oh, right, it okay. I New thought York. it was like... Well, sorry, I that... should have mentioned that. I should have mentioned there was a long connection flight I just flight thought, you know, in London, the 4th of July, they're like, yes, this is not a day we look back on very fondly. <laughs> I, uh, I absolutely don't blame them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> TV show looks good, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's going well. It's going well. It was a lot of fun to make, and it was a great time to uh, chill out, have like a steady job. It, yeah. was, it was very fun. Uh, everybody on that was amazing. I've worked for Bill Lawrence before. He's very clever. He did uh, Scrubs, so and he did yeah. what else? Uh, the, the Scrubs and the other one. Um... Uh, Cougar Town. Cougar Town, and, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. yeah, he's got like four shows, he's I think. He's very right clever. Now. He's I... one of these very clever guys. I don't care for him. <laughs> No one can be more clever than you. I know. That's exactly what I think. I know. Let's boot them. All right. Well, we're out of time. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Can I enter? <laughs> Who's it? Sorry, they're going to do... Blah, 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 blah. Right. Oh, wait, I should... <laughs> well. Do you want some chocolate for your snake? I'd love some. Um, do you want a big giant uh, piece of chocolate? Yeah. If, if you give this chocolate to your snake, will the snake, like, and then... Well, do nothing to that. Do you have any mammals here? Small mammals. Yeah, I got a... Ah! That's almost perfect. Yeah. In, in a couple years, he'll be eating rabbits. Don't worry, my pretty. <laughs> 
What about a, I've got a ceramic panda. Ooh, that's very sweet. He'll break it instantly. But, no, no, I don't. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, you just uh, get your own snake food. Okay. <laughs> that's fair enough. Do you have any euros? Yeah, I do have uh, chocolate euros. Have you ever had a chocolate euro before? I don't think I've had it's a chocolate euro It's a bit like a kiki, before. actually. <laughs> Why is it white chocolate? Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right. See that? You ooh. <laughs> right, Jeff Peterson? That's correct. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Aluna Tall, everybody. Aluna Tall. Sensational young lady, really wonderful. Thank well you. done. I, I tried. No, you, well, uh, clearly it's paid off. Are you all right? You comfortable in that chair? Do you need a little stool there? I think I do. I can't reach the We keep anywhere. a little stool back here in case Tom Cruise is ever on. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> there you go. It's in here somewhere. Hold on. There you are. Thank Just you. stick that down there. Do I get a, like a foot massage while I'm at it? Yeah, sure. You want a foot massage too? Yeah. You know. <laughs> No, you can't. Not too, too, uh, too at home. No, that's no, good. You're shoot a lot of toe cle cleavage going on no. where you're. Uh, Thank shoot, you. That's good. Guys love that. It's not, it's not very comfortable. But there's like a little little nick there. I'm not, it... I'm very clumsy when when in my heels. Re so. Me too. Oh, I. <laughs> Listen, this show you're doing, this is the show that everybody's talking about. It's the cult yeah. show where things go nuts. They do. They yeah. Go, they go bonkers. Well, right. This is the show where the, the, like, the, you're on a TV show and then you leave it and become a detective. <laughs> that's one way to look at it. Right, right, right. Um, uh, uh, I, I actually play two roles. You, right, that's what I, I meant to say. I know. Yeah, no, yeah. I, can, I can feel you. Right. I'm actually playing an actress that's playing a detective on a show. Change the battery now. No! Where are you from? Israel. I thought that was an accent that I couldn't place. You're saying that I have an accent? Well, a little bit, yeah. A little tiny bit of an accent. I this thought... is an accent from Israel. That's what this I meant. This is an accent from Israel. Hello, eh, I am from Israel and I am... Well, but you have got... I, he could hear a tiny little bit of a... And there, when you were talking. <laughs> a little bit of a... Yeah. <laughs> I thought, well, there's something Mediterranean going on there a little bit. Israel, like, did you do your national service? Were you ever in the military? I sure did. Did you really? Yes, I did. Wow, have you got your uniform? I don't, but I have my dog tag. That's cool. Can't leave yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you, uh, did you, uh, did you learn the ha 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 ha? See, uh, Krav. Krav? Maga. Krav Maga, that's yeah. what I said. It's not McGraw. No, no, I didn't say McGrath, I said Krav. Oh, my I also have something of an accent. I like oh, your accent, though. Oh, thank you. I like your accent, too. I've never been to Israel. I'd be fascinated to go to Israel. Do you go back there a lot? I do. Do You, you should... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? You should totally come. <laughs> to Israel? This is very exciting. You should totally come. I'm going in June. You okay, totally yeah, fine. That's right. Hang going... on a second. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I'll be fine. Hold on a second. Yeah, all right. All right. Honey, I'm going to Israel. June. Great. Oh, by the way, change the batteries now. Uh, <laughs> no, I, that, I'd like to go to Israel. We should take the show to Israel when we do that. Yes! <laughs> yeah. it, it's it's going to be a late, late show in the Holy Land. No one's, no, it's never been Yeah, no, nothing will go wrong there, making jokes. <laughs> making jokes and having a flippant time with a robot skeleton in the Holy Land, that's not a recipe for trouble in any way, shape, or form. We can take it. Over no, there. I know, yeah, well, we'll take a let's licking. just leave it at that, shall we? <laughs> when, did you, uh, when did you come here? Uh, what, uh, nine years ago. Really? Mm -hmm. So when you were about nine? Yes. <laughs> so you were in the army as a child? Yes. Wow. I was like a prodigy Nikita style. Can you do all that? Can you do all that kind of ha ta ta ha ta ta That's me going, like, I think, even... I think I may stun my, my opponents just by them going like, what the? What are you doing? Yeah. I can have that. Uh, I, 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 
I can't. Right. But I can really pretend. <laughs> I can pretend my ass off. Don't do that. Pretend something else. <laughs> Some things. Okay. Some things you should just leave the way they are. You know what I'm saying? You having a nice time in LA? You enjoying it? You liking it? I do. It's a lot like Israel, actually, weather-wise. Is it really? And there's a lot of Israelis. There's a lot of Jewish Yeah, hey, have you here. ever been to Itzhak Hagadol on the, in the valley? It's a, an Israeli restaurant. It's great. It's a what? An Israeli restaurant in the valley. Itzhak Hagadol. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Sorry. Let me say it probably. Itzhak Hagadol. <laughs> No, I haven't. Yeah, it's in the valley. There's is it a, a proper some guys. Israeli yeah, there's, there's, it's a family. They have a restaurant in Tel Aviv, and they have a restaurant in the valley, and it's it's really good. Oh, no, I haven't. You can get I all that chach and buch and gach and all that hummus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hummus. All that stuff. All the stuff that we have to we say the word like that. We're like we're like the Italians, only not. Right, and the and the thing is, is like you go to the restaurant, and it's an open kitchen, and all the guys that work in the kitchen look like they're in Mossad, you know. So they're like they chopping things up. They're like, I'm cutting, I'm cutting, and uh, see that's the. I think when you go to Israel, you never know who you're gonna like. They, you should not start any, any nothing with nobody, because like it could. You know. I never start nothing with nobody anyway. That's good. I guess yeah, that's a good. I mean, I, I don't I, know why I would start anything with anybody other than you know love. I'm, I'm, I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> Make love, not war. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. You got a big reaction from Lesbian Row right there. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that not really landed. Are you sweating? I'm sweating profusely. Really? Are you feeling a bit schwitzy? I'm yeah. Are you schwitzing a little bit? Schwitzing a bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, but I am a spooker. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, You're a mensch. Well, a mensch. I like to think I am a, something of a mishugana. No, that's Yiddish. Let's call it neshama. That's Hebrew. Hebrew? I, I don't know any Hebrew. Oh, crikey. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You have no idea what I said, though, right? I don't give I a Tootsie Fruits. Anything. Yeah, it was fine. It was fine. Good. Good. It was fine. Do, but they might, they'll check. They'll, they will check. Good. I'm glad. You might have to beep it. <laughs> no. I good. once swore good. out here, they didn't notice. In what language? <laughs> Anyone I can find, really. Can I swear in another language, though? Uh, as long I'm as it's not German. <laughs> Why? Well, I think it's a German word. Is it? Yeah, I think so. You I... learn something every day. I didn't yeah, know yeah, that. you didn't know that. Yeah, no. it's, it's a German word for intimate relations. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're out of time. You want to throw a frisbee at my horse? I'd love to throw a frisbee at the horse. Can you throw a frisbee? I used to. I used to play um, frisbee, like ultimate frisbee. When no I was way. Sixteen at the beach. I haven't done it in a while. And I'm a little rusty. Yeah. No. Come on. Let's get going. Here you are. There's a. Uh... Three Frisbees. I'll take three. There's the horse. All right. A lot of towel, everybody. A lot of towel. Nice. Oh! Yeah. A lot of towel. Jenna Louise Coleman, everybody, Jenna Louise Coleman. <laughs> Hello, Jenna Louise Coleman. Hello. You look very nice indeed, may I say. Thank you very much. Very... I'm very excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> You've figured it out quite quickly, yeah. haven't you? You've moved here from Britain, haven't you? No. no You're just visiting. Yeah, yeah. I'm just here for a week. Is that it? Yeah, I don't think you, you'll it. never... You can't move in in a week. No, you really can't. <laughs> so you're going back? So I'm definitely going back. I'm well, good for you. definitely here to visit. How's it going? Great. Yeah, I'm really excited to be here. It's great. <laughs> Are you saying the opposite of what's true for comic effect? No. Uh, I'm just sorry. I'm really still a bit... Da pitched. I'm damaged from Seth. Uh, cynicism. He was very, yeah. yeah, it was dark, dark, dark. <laughs> hey, congratulations on being the Doctor's new companion in the series. You're fantastic in it. Thank I was watching you, you're very saucy. Yeah, you're yeah. You're the sauciest of all the Doctor's companions, if you don't mind me saying so. Wow, that is a statement. It is. <laughs> very saucy indeed. <laughs> and by saucy, I mean, I don't just mean, you know, 
Ooh, lovely. Look at her. She's saucy. I mean, you know, like saucy as in kind of, you've got a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, a bit more moxie. She's kind of not, she's not afraid to ask why. She kind of. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in your own life afraid to ask why? Um, yeah. Depends, depends on the situation. Are you depressed? <laughs> I am a little bit. I know, I'm getting a bit confused with this really? couch and, you know... No, I'm no, it's all right. Have some American water! <laughs> I got to pick the colour of my mug. I liked that. I like your accent. You sound like, to me, you're from the north of England. I am. Are you from Lancashire or Yorkshire? Lancashire. Lancashire? Blackpool? Yes! You are? Yeah. Ah, lovely. Blackpool is like the Las Vegas of Britain, right? Mm -hmm. Sort of, a little bit. Kind, kind of a, yeah, kind bit of a... Rainier. A bit rainier. A bit rainier. It's, it's very, there's lots of lights and kind of neon and bright and there's a huge theme park. So whenever you say you're from Blackpool, people kind of think I grew up like in the theme park, eating rock. You're not a carny. Roller coasters. You're not in fact a carny then. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, you are an actress, which is kind of the same. <laughs> But you know, I, uh, not in Blackpool, but in Filey, uh, is where a very important event happened in my life. Well, oh, wait, what, what, what happened? What a happened? thing that happens when you grow up. Oh, oh! Like, if I had a bunch of cherries and I was yeah. walking around Filey... I get you. I'm with you. Slow on the uptake. Yeah. And that Filey, yeah, Filey, really. just outside Blackpool. <laughs> It might still be there! I've never heard of Filey. Filey? No. <laughs> it's just outside Blackpool. I've never been. Maybe it's a mythical land that I just made up in my head. <laughs> Maybe it never happened. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it must have happened. No, it definitely happened. No, I used to go to Blackpool. Did you ever go to the Pleasure Beach? Yeah, that's where people think I grew up. Right, the Pleasure... It's not what you beach. think, the Pleasure Beach. The Pleasure... <laughs> it's kind of like... It's like a big kind of Disneyland-y type -y thing, right? Kind of, yeah. They have the big one. They... They do. <laughs> the Grand National is the one I remember. That was the two roller coasters that raced against each other. Yeah, that's the scary one. That's the one that put me off roller coasters for life. No, you mustn't. Yeah. Don't give in on roller yeah. coasters. Oh. Don't... Come on, don't go... You, there's frog fingers out there for you. <laughs> Are you having a nice time in America? I am, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, no, I imagine you probably would. Everyone would be very nice to you. And Dr. Hugh, is Dr. Hugh, which is <laughs> I'm calling it. Uh, that, 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 <laughs> I can't wait to see that show. That, that it's, like Doctor, it's like Doctor Who, except it's Hugh Laurie. It's kind of how. Oh, because he's a doctor as well. Well, like, he played how, so it's like yeah. Doctor Hugh. Um, <laughs> He doesn't travel through time, but he goes to the hospital and back again to his house. Uh, amazing. How does he get there? By a car? Sort of, yeah. So he, he takes a car which doesn't go through time much, a little, little bit. So original. It, yeah, it, I think people <laughs> will really enjoy it. <laughs> I've got a TARDIS right here. Look, look, I, look, I see it. Desk. Is that the, is the whole time? It's wow. there the whole time, yeah. I didn't just put it there for you. I'm a big fan of Doctor Who. And that one there is bigger on the inside. Really? <laughs> Can I have a look? No. No. <laughs> no, you can't. I, uh, you're the doctor's companion, sadly not mine. <laughs> Only my companion can look inside there. Who's your companion? I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yes, you can look inside. Of course you can. It's, uh, uh, it's just... See, this is new things. I keep... I, I'm kind of... Oh! See? Oh, it is! Oh, but... But you need to update it. <laughs> <laughs> See, we have, we have a new TARDIS now. Well, this one will be fine. <laughs> It gets the job done. Yeah. You know, but... Thanks for criticising my TARDIS. It's a little bit out of date. New girl on Doctor <laughs> Who. <laughs> Did you watch Doctor Who when you were little? I didn't, because it was never on. Oh, yeah, it went through that period. Yeah. I guess you were about that age where yeah. it went, yeah. I, yeah. Was, I was denied that privilege as, as a child. So you will not know what to look out for? Daleks, Cybermen, uh, yeah. uh, the statues that when you blink, they kind of come out. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. I know about them. Stephen has one of those in his garden. Stephen. Love it. Who created, well, the new creator of Doctor, Terry Nation, I think. No, he created the, I can't remember who it was. <laughs> it's 50 years worth. It's so. 50. I'm the same age as Doctor Who. I'm 50 years old. Oh. Doctor Who started when I was a baby and... That doesn't make any sense, or... <laughs> um, well, there you are, then. Well, we're out of time. Um, oh, well, you're not, because you can travel through it and stuff, but <laughs> I... Uh, I indeed am.
So how do you fancy you wrapping this up? Awkward pause, mouth organ? Well, I, th I feel like we're just about to start on the awkward pause, so maybe we should kind of fill See it through? through. Yeah, yeah. I like an actress that commits. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just say? Oh, you bra oh, you bra you broke the what happened? This was like one of my big fears when I was growing up. Awkward silences. Oh, whew, couldn't do it. Makes me twitch. Really? Yeah. Then let's lean into it a little more, shall we? <laughs> Biscuit, 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 biscuit. I feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> then you finally arrived at the show. Uh, well, we <laughs> told you. everybody nothing to see here move along <laughs> my next guest is a fine young actress she's got two movies out austin land which is in theaters august the 16th and cockneys versus zombies which is out now the lovely georgia king everybody georgia king <laughs> Georgia. Hello. You look lovely. Thank you very much. Very sophisticated. You know, I kind of just look like this when I wake up in the morning. It's really? Just pretty. Do you just wake up and go, oh, fabulous. <laughs> yeah. Life is like a shampoo commercial. <laughs> Are you in your film Cockneys vs. Zombies? Cockney or zombie? Uh, everyone does this weird joke when they when they talk about the movie. They're like, "Are you a zombie?" And it's, no. Are you a Cockney? No. You're not a Cockney or a zombie. I'm neither. Well, it's a perfectly rational. It's not like a joke. It's a question. I mean, the film's called Cockney versus Zombies. If I said, "What do you do?" and it's swim, that would be like, <laughs> "Do you swim in the film?" I no no. I'm trying to remember. Sorry, I made it. A it was a long time ago. We made that movie, and then it's you can't remember if you swam in a film. <laughs> Well, let me ask you this. Can you swim? I swim great, yes. What stroke do you prefer? I, <laughs> I like to do a combo. Oh. Maybe a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. I was just catching up with where we are right now. Yeah, yeah, um, right. OK. <laughs> Breaststroke. Mm -hmm. Front crawl. Front crawl, yeah, yeah. Back, <laughs> backstroke. I'm not actually very good at backstroke. Oh. It's my weakest stroke. <laughs> sure, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? So, uh, in the other film, Austin Land, is that when the Cockneys and the zombies attack Austin, Texas? Pretty much. Really? That's what happens. I We're going to oh, Texas. Oh. Have you ever been to Austin? No. <laughs> is the film not about Austin? It's about. No, it's about Jane Austen. Oh. And it's about, um... She was from Austin, Texas, did you know that? No, I didn't. She was like, I'm I... gonna write this story. Oh, you know. Mm -mm. I'm gonna put some bonnets in it. Bonnets and little... little... Some chicken. Chickens. <laughs> it's a terrible accident. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's bad, but you know what? Yeah, never mind. No, uh, no, no. No, it's John Hamm was here Austin. a couple of weeks ago. You should have heard his oh, Scottish it's accent. A <laughs> So, um, so it's about Jane Austen. Well, what do you do? You swim in that film? I don't. I'm just a kind of a psychopath in the movie. I, really? Yeah, I would do a great psychopath or a stalker. It's my really. <laughs> it's really my tour de force. Yeah, but so, um. Well, I think it's good to have range like that because you obviously do glamour and psychopath. These are two things <laughs> that are going to work well they in Hollywood. They go hand in hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, they do. No. <laughs> have you noticed that? I have. Have you moved to Los Angeles? I did a year ago. Yes, well then you know. I do. 
How are you fitting in here then? Because you're not from here, I can tell. I know. Um, I love it. It's great. It's very nice. different. Mm. I mean, to what? Where are you from? Uh, well, I'm, I'm actually Scottish, can't you hear? <laughs> you do sound a little tiny bit Scottish, but you don't sound like you've been there for a while. No, I only lived there for six days. Right, right, was... right. <laughs> That'll be it. Yeah. I was born there and lived there six days, so I am a Scottish actress. Right. And then I grew up in Devon in the countryside. That's a long way from Scotland. It's very far. Yeah. And they all talk a bit like that, you know? Talk a bit like that. It's all it's all kind of like, like that. Everything's lush. Lush? You're lush. Thanks. I'm lush. <laughs> They're lush. <laughs> Not oh. all of them. No. Oh. <laughs> There are a couple of Canadians up there. <laughs> there is. <laughs> so uh, you moved here and you're all, have you adopted the LA lifestyle, yoga and uh, um, such? I, do you know what? I, I really try. I thought I would just like jump in the deep end on the swimming theme. Oh, right. Uh, um, <laughs> and um, I find myself in classes. I'm trying out all these different classes at my new gym, Crunch. Crunch? Where you do things like diesel and diesel. TNT and booty power. <laughs> Let me stop you. <laughs> what Please is do. booty power? The most humiliating class I've ever taken. Yeah, what do you do? How do you, what do you do? It's a, a fusion of yoga, which is like, OK, great. Oh, great. Hello. Um, with Beyonce body popping. <laughs> and grooves. And I've never felt less sexy. <laughs> And less cool. And seeing my friend in the mirror working out, going, please don't see me. <laughs> like, doing this weird, like, warrior two, booty pop, booty pop. I, I, I think it's good. Oh, it it's, was... it's working for me right now. I'm feeling like... <laughs> I'm like, this is great. Ooh. I mean, clearly... Uh, this is? Yeah, you like, I, I like that. that. <laughs> I mean, that, and you worry about your backstroke? It's going to be sensational. That's my backstroke. <laughs> I'll be fine. Booty power. And then I did like this weird thing this morning with a guy who just screamed at everyone. It was like one of those like boot camp things. Oh, I have no time for that. If I wanted to be yelled at, I'd go back to my old school. Oh, you yeah. go back to Scotland. Yeah, <laughs> like, ah, oh, you're all rubbish. Like, what do I lay five? Feel the burn. Because my mum's from Glasgow. So she I actually is? know about this. Yeah, well, it Shouting. was. Well, it was a thing that we used to do. They don't do it anymore. They're lovely in Scotland now. I, I, love, I, know, I, just, I was just back there. Oh, really? Well, you have to. Yeah, I'm so sad. I was just in the West End of Glasgow. What were you doing in the West End? I used to work in a bar in the West End. I was shopping and drinking with my gran. Did you? Drinking with your gran? <laughs> <laughs> Did, is yeah. your gran an alcoholic? No, I mean, well, in, a little bit. In, yeah, in, little in, in American terms, definitely. Right. You know, catch my mum having a nip of whiskey at sort of, every, you know, every evening, just like, hey, hello. Oh, hi. Just heat my cockles. <laughs> no, she never says that. <laughs> I don't know. I should never do a Scottish accent. No, no, I, you should. TV. I liked it a lot. That was it was... <laughs> oh. No, but w the West End in Glasgow, I used to work, you know, the bar ubiquitous chip? I just know. Sorry, I just had um, a really fancy lunch there. I used to be the barman upstairs in that bar in that my bar! God. You know, my mum, she used to drink there, I bet. Ma, wait, what's your mum's name? Isabel Buchanan. She's a... She's a... She's a opera singer. Opera singer, Aye. yes. That's your mum. Hey. I've seen her drunk. Yeah! <laughs> backstroke, backstroke, backstroke. <laughs> um, listen, uh, I don't know if you're in interested, but... Uh, I've got some stuff here. <laughs> And I we're out of time, stuff. so I'll give you some stuff. You can't have my pipe or my little dinghy bell, but, um... What else mm, have you got, then? Some sugar. Come on. That's like, that's like when you're a little boy. Sugar and an egg. It's very... It's very, it's very poor. Yeah, well, I was... It's, it's the middle of the night show on CBS. We don't have any money. I, I was lying the... Want some sugar? <laughs> Would you like some sugar to put Ooh. it in your whiskey? <laughs> Um, well, I live in L.A. I don't really have sugar anymore. I'm not, well, that's, I'm not allowed that's sugar. all the sugar in L.A. right now. I could now. boil this down into a tablet. A tablet? You know, Scottish tablet? Scottish tablet, yeah. You, you can make yourself really crazy with that stuff. <laughs> that's like the confectionery version of crystal meth. It's phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, it's very it's good. It's just butter and sugar, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And I'm not allowed to eat that now that I live in L.A. Oh, you'll be fine. I've got to do my booty. <laughs> Georgia, we have to say uh, goodnight. Say goodnight. Oh, oh, goodnight. Goodnight. Goodnight.